for your lovely smile and thank you brother bear for your question uh, i started the practice when i was 13 years old 14 but that's like uh when i was a teenager so i came i went to the monastery for a summer retreat in maple forest monastery in vermont and uh, before we had blue cliff monastery and uh, yeah and then that's when i got started with the practice of plum village and meditation and then uh after a few years, uh, I'll just continue at the, in the summer retreat. After school ended, I would go there for the summer retreat in the teens program. And then, uh, and then when I was 17, that's when I had the permission of my parents to go to Plum Village in France to ordain as a novice monk. And I've been a monk for nine, nine, nine and a half years, close to 10. And yeah, the, the reason why is there's a book that I read. Uh, the first book that I read by Tai, my, my teacher, was uh, Old Path White Clouds. And uh, it's like a thick book, uh, about Harry Potter size. <laughs> and yeah, and when I read that book, it watered the seeds of uh, just simple living and I understand about the, the Buddhist life more. But my family came from the background, uh, a Buddhist family and uh, the PLM tradition and so a lot of chanting and rituals and the monks were uh, they mostly wear the the yellow robes, and sometimes they will do a lot of uh, different ha hats for the ceremonies. And yeah, I would go to the temple on Sundays and with my mom and my dad. And yeah, I would go there like a uh, like our young friend here. And maybe I didn't understand much about the practice at that time. I was still young, and and my Vietnamese was not uh, good, and which I was uh, brought. Uh, uh, raised, uh, uh, born and raised in Rochester, New York. So that's why I didn't understand enough Vietnamese. But now since in the community, my Vietnamese is more and uh, I can uh, understand uh, and read and write Vietnamese a little bit. So that I understand about the practice of Buddhism, about meditation on how the Buddha's life was and the transformation and the suffering of uh, the Buddha back from that book, Old Pathway Clouds. So I enjoy my practice of being a monk for the past uh, nine and a half years. And uh, of course, there are times there's uh, difficulties and ha happy moments and understanding my mind more. Because as living beings, our mind is quite uh, complicated, very complex. You have to be, and uh, that's why you have to come back to yourself, come back to your breathing. And uh, so, I see that sometimes just sitting here, looking at everyone, everyone wants to get at me, and for me giving the Dhamma talk, and uh, with my brother here, we sometimes, somehow we are connected. If we have the, the eye contact, and just the, your being there, it's just enough for me to just share, like from my heart, and for you just to listen deeply. And uh, but the, the main thing is uh, in our mind, we're like, when we had that sharing, between one another and getting to know each other, asking our name or where we come from. It's a communion. We're starting to, to talk and we're starting to get to connect to each other. As human beings, we're very so, social. We have to talk, like to mingle, get to, to get to have kind of connection and feeling for each other. And sometimes we, when we have this relationship with each other, our mind becomes very complex and we have different feelings, happy feelings, calm feeling, 